Okay, we are going to be demonstrating EdgeCam and manual programming, and then showing off EdgeCam's knowledge-based machining uh, method of automatically programming toolpath to parts. So let me start off by bringing in a solid model and defining my stock. and inserting a vise, that way I have accurate machining representation. And using Feature Finder. Feature Finder automatically interrogates the solid model. So that way it makes machining a lot easier. So there we go. Now I'm going to flip over to the manufacturing side. So that way I can start applying toolpath. As you can see, EdgeCam supports full machine simulation. What we can also do is specify material types so that way speeds and feeds can automatically be calculated based on that material. And I'm just defining my vice so that way I can ensure that it's going to show up for simulation. Let's first start off by doing some face milling. There you can see toolpath being applied. And let's go ahead and rough out the solid model. Here I'm specifying my various offset values, make sure there's no offset in the Z, and selecting my tooling. just like before. And let me go ahead and finish those pockets now. There I'm selecting all those features that were found in the model. I specify compensation based on the center line of the tool or on the geometry of the actual part. All right, almost done. All that's left is doing the holes.
Just two more sets to go. These whole operation dialog boxes are very useful. They allow me to do a lot of instructions all at once. And because it's a solid model, it automatically knows like the threading information of some of these holes. And that's it. Part is programmed. All we need to do now is just simulate it to verify that all of our toolpath looks okay. There we go. Machine complete. So that was the manual way of programming. Now let me go ahead and show you the automated way of programming using uh, EdgeCam's knowledge-based machining. So previously we had uh, already feature found our entire part What we're going to do is assign strategies, and then with one click of a button, apply all of these strategies. And you can see all the applied toolpath there. Much quicker than the previous method of me programming manually. You may notice that there are more tool changes that's easy to fix though by using EdgeCam's rationalize instructions. And there we go. Program part. Now this can also be applied to any other parts as well by using the knowledge based machining. I'm going to go ahead and bring this next part and line this up so that way the CPL is on the lower left hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and create some stock using the auto stock command. Just creating some additional geometry so that way I can line this up correctly inside of my machine. Let me go ahead and use my feature finder so you can see down here all the features that have been found. Let me go ahead and jump back over to the manufacturing side. So you can see there, that piece takes up almost our entire table. But let me go ahead and assign my strategies. And now let's go ahead and apply my strategies.
that easy. So our, our uh, part is now set up to be machined.